Next on 10 at 10, Illinois' budget problems could mean the end of some very valuable state programs. We'll take a look at one that may be in jeopardy. Plus, an area woman is about to turn 106 years old. Her amazing story. Ten minutes of nonstop news in your first forecast, all before the first commercial. 10 at 10 starts now. WPSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 10. Now here's your 10 at 10. Our 10 at 10 top story, several elderly people in our area are concerned Illinois state budget cuts will force them into nursing homes. Illinois is between 8 and $11 billion in debt, and with nowhere else to turn, lawmakers have cut up to 50% of funding for some social services. Adult Comprehensive Human Services is one of the programs. It channels state funds to workers who help elderly live at home when they can no longer care for themselves. I talked with a woman in Hearst, Illinois, earlier today to bring you her story. Ruby Holland says she needs in-home care. She uses oxygen to combat her COPD, emphysema, and asthma. Her legs are weak, making it hard to walk. Six days a week, state paid workers help her with chores, preserving Ruby's independence. She recently learned her state paid help could stop. I think it's wrong. They're cutting the help the people need. There's a lot of people in my shoes are in more words than I am the need to help. The state cut the adult comprehensive human services budget by 50 percent. It provides in-home care to 300 clients like Ruby and Jackson, Williamson and Franklin counties. Up to 150 clients like Ruby could lose their care. Another 50 could see their help cut back. If Ruby loses her in-home care, it really could cost the state more. You see, the in-home care alone cost about $688 a month. Take that away and put her into a nursing home. It could cost the state about $3,000 a month. And that's a reality Ruby and hundreds of others do not want. I've been there and I don't like it. Ruby is holding on to hope that somehow lawmakers will find a way to preserve her independence. Lawmakers will vote whether to raise the income tax from 3 to 4.5 percent Wednesday to help save some of those services. But even if the tax is raised, it's not likely all the social services will receive that they'll receive full funding.